Hi, Neil McKenzie, photographer here. Um, welcome to my first Photography Tips 101. I want to take two minutes. Um, talk about flash on camera today. So whether you're a little point and shoot camera like this or a big camera like my, mine, when you're outside, turn the flash on. 80% of the time when I've got the, when I'm outside, I have my flash on. So here's a shot, team photo, no flash, with flash. You could have them all um, staring into the sun so you get rid of all those shadows but then they'll all be squinting so that's with that the flash that's with it on here's a shot of my daughter um this is without the flash turn the flash on fills in all the shadows on this side now i reckon that looks a little bit too flashed too much power there so i depowered my flash and got this little shot here so it's just a little bit of power taken out it looks a little bit more natural with your little point and shoot camera if you just took an extra step backwards and then zoom in that would depower your flash a little bit so that's without the flash that's with it full power and that's with just a little bit of power taken out here's one with red eye red eye happens when your flash is too close to your lens so the the light comes straight out of the flash hits the back of the eye bounces straight back into the lens when you've got a little point and shoot camera there's not a lot you can do about that but computer programs nowadays you can just spot them out easy peasy Here's a Dom Post photographer, now he's got his flash on a cord, so he's going to stop the um, red eye because his flash is away from his lens and it makes the picture a little bit more dramatic because the, the flash is not coming straight from the camera, it's coming from the side. Here's a little um, one I did at a wedding, now this is on a long exposure, so you either set your camera for a long exposure or onto night mode if you've got one, and as you take the picture you spin the camera, so the flash freezes the action in the foreground so it freezes the couple in the foreground and then the background becomes all all blurred as you spin the camera now this is really hit and miss you might have to take 10 to get one good one but um great little idea to play with um thanks for that if you've got any ideas for any other topics i can cover just send me an email that would be great thanks